Okay, when you first open the box here, we're gonna have four big zip ties. One there, one here, every place there's a piece of cardboard. One there, one there. Um, you'll need a pair of wire snips or something to snip those so that they will, um, so you can get the rest of this out. So let's get the rest of those cut and we'll take this out. Now once you get that off, get the cover off, this is your hardware packet. It's going to have all your hardware in it, along with your hooks and everything. So you want to put that where you can find it. Here's your instructions. And you want to get all this trash out of your way. Um, another box of parts. Let's get this all laid out before we start trying to put it together. I'll just say A. Yeah, A and D. A and D. What the hell? They didn't even mark these. Honey, these already come with a wrench. These already come with wrenches, oh. although still yours may be a lot easier to use. Okay, if I've looked at the instructions right, A, bolt A are these four, uh, five sixteenths by like inch and three quarters or something. Let's see. Let me show you. Looks like I ain't got my glasses on two and something three quarters something so. That's the four longest ones, so we're going to start with those. Okay, now we're going to, the long bolt goes through here, into the threaded part of the front, and the short bolt will go in here, and it can be hard to get tight. Now, if you start it and it's really tight, back it out because you'll be stripping it. It's really easy to strip these. Mama, video. Huh? video. Also, make sure that's lined up. Yeah. Okay. The the there's a lock washer and a curve washer that goes here. So and tighten this up. And don't. I should say. Before we start, don't tighten all these bolts tight. Just get, get them started because if you get them too tight, then the other ones won't go. So make sure you get all of them in loosely first, and then you can go back afterward and tighten them all up. Okay, this bolt down here on the bottom is this small one with the Loctite on there, and I'm going to use a flat washer on that one. These things are hard, can be hard to get started. They have paint on them. And they're easily stripped because I believe they are all aluminum screws. And that's the wrong one. Let me see that other Allen wrench over there. Hope that's the right one. And we're just going to tighten this one get it started we're not going to tighten it now this has loctite so it will be a little stiff okay we got started that's all we're going we're going to do the back one now now the back rail of this is going to go on the same way the front one did the only difference is it doesn't have the support in the middle little wire support halfway down like this one does so that's all there is to it just uh screw it one one long one with a curved washer and then one short one at the bottom okay well step two we're going to put the assembly in i don't know come on if it's going to focus or not so you see here we're going to attach these to the uh, frame 
Now this spring assembly is held on with uh, two bolts going to right there. You'll need that little let me see that wrench she was using. Yeah, you'll need that little wrench and the key uh, Allen wrench to put these in. And it takes one washer, uh, one of these small on each side. And then these are nylock nuts right here. And once you get them tight, they should be pretty tight. Now, the uh, issue with these spring brackets is this curved part goes toward the back. These are um, labeled right and left, so make sure we're, we're facing from the back front, so it'd be opposite. But as you're facing the futon, these are labeled right and left, but the curved spring right here bracket comes out towards the back so just make sure you get those in tighten these two bolts up and we're ready for step three okay on step three we're going to be putting the bottom and the back rails on and there's a little close-up of all the screws and the washers we're going to need and nuts It helps if you use your own wrench or ratchet because the one that comes with this is real thin, almost knife like, but you know, unless you got 18 year old hands. Okay, and take 400. Now, the bottom when you put it on we'll have handles like this they go up as, as this lays flat this will go up to help hold the cushion on and we we'll use the four bolts now we came up two washers short so they will go in here each bracket has two and like i said if you got your own uh, crescent wrench, adjustable wrench, or socket is a lot better than the ones that came with the um, futon. And when you get this done, you're going to go back and we're going to double check all of our screws and make sure they're tight. And your hooks are going to go. Uh, Right there in the middle. Now push it, push it. No, no, push it. There you go. And then we got bumpers that are going to go. Those little felt pads down there. And they will go in the frame so it, you don't. Clanking like that? Clanking like that, yeah. And that's your futon, Big Lots futon, assembled, ready to put a futon mattress cover on. How many women does it take to put a futon cover on? Okay, now set it up in like a futon position. Okay, can you help? Yeah. Come on, Come on, There you go. 
and Can you cut the tag off of this? Futon is a symbol. Again, this is futon. Some tips for assembly is again, do not tighten the bolts till you have them all in. Be careful because they are aluminum. You can strip them out very easy. And I don't know what you would have to do to probably have to go to Lowe's or hardware store to get another one. So uh, there you have it. Uh, pretty straightforward assembly. Just uh, the bolts do have paint on them and some of them do not start very easy. So you may want to go ahead and start those before you uh, put the parts together and that way kind of just get the paint war they go a lot together a lot easier so thank you for watching like and subscribe we'll get out here and put something else together